Hello and welcome back to Grassroots Crypto, where I like to teach people about crypto. In this video, I'm going to be having a look at Multi-Chain Chaos Net. It has not been launched yet, it's going to be launched tomorrow, but I wanted to put out a, a quick guide on um, how to you know, migrate your funds and a couple of things to look out for. So let's just get into it. First, uh, I have BEPSOP here with uh, some funds on it. So these are real funds, about 800 Rune and a little bit of BNB. So I'm gonna be, um, I guess the, the situation would have been I've withdrawn from the pool, from my, I guess, BNB and Rune pool, whatever. Um, and now I wanna move over to Multi-Chain Chaos Net. You'll see a, a medium article out tomorrow. You don't necessarily need to run and um, you know provide liquidity uh, straight away. Uh, BetSoft's going to be around for a while. There might be, you know, some teething issues. So don't don't be, you know, in a massive rush to go ahead and do that. Um, but do read the the medium article that's going to come out tomorrow that uh, explains all the information. So here I have um, Asgard Exchange. First step you'll need to do is create a new wallet. So click the connect button, and you want to create a uh, a new key store. So the key store you need to create a password for and word. Um, if you've done this in testnet, it would be kind of like a similar process, but this will be a different wallet because this is going to be your production wallet. Can't really use the word mainnet, but it's not a testnet wallet. It's with real funds. So once you've done create key store, you're going to, um, you're going to get prompted to save it. It's going to cancel there because I'm not going to do it. And, uh, this here is the actual seed phrase for your, um, for your wallet. So if your key store uh, file that I was just prompted to save somehow gets deleted or whatever, this is your backup. You absolutely need it to back this up, this particular seed phrase, um, in order to uh, restore your wallet if something happens. So this could reconstruct your primary key. So I can't emphasize the importance of that to ensure that you um, uh, back this up. So I'm gonna click understand and, and for anyone that knows this stuff, I'm not gonna be using this wallet. Uh, again, I'm gonna pause the recording a little bit later and make a, a, a whole new one. But just to continue on with this, um, I can go ahead and view the, the phrase again. Um, and then to in order to get an address, so I'm gonna be sending from my bnb.rune uh, or, or whatever to uh, on the BNB chain, then this is how I'd get the address in order to do that. So this is a main address here um, to move your Bitcoin across. This would be a Bitcoin address, uh, so on and so forth for um, all the other connected chains. This is how you get your address. So uh, when I create my actual wallet, which I'm not gonna record, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and click here, do this. To send the BNB, I can actually go to BepSwap and then click uh, send and that'll send it across. Because it's um, obviously, remember, it's bnb.runes. This is on the Binance chain. Uh, you'll be needing to send it to a Binance address before you do the upgrade. So now I have the BNB address that I've copied from here in my clipboard, and I'm gonna go ahead and send, um, I'm gonna send my rune first. It's probably better send your rune just because you need BNB for the um, on-chain on -chain transactions. So I'm gonna send like a little bit, maybe 200 rune. It is Chaos Net, so I'm not going to go too hard too early. Um, that's my address, which I'll blank out. And there's a network fee, obviously, of BNB. I don't need a memo or anything like that um, at the moment. And I need to put in my password here. So I've sent Rune, and now I'm going to go send BNB to the same address. And I'm sending, like, you know, just a little bit there, so 0.4. BNB's really had a run, so yippee yahoo. So that's me sending um, BNB as well as Rune to the new address, uh, my BNB address that I got from my multi-chain Castnet wallet. So my um, my funds have arrived that I've sent, which is fantastic. Um, and then it's detected. I have um, obviously BNB.Rune that can be uh, upgraded. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that is a cool thing to do. Um, I'm just gonna go to the max why not so upgrade your bnb um upgrade from your uh bnb.rune to 4.rune this this 
takes and makes your rune on the native um, Chain bot chain. Have a look at my previous videos. Have a look um, at this video for more information. You actually view it on Explorer, so that's cool if you want to view all these um, transactions. So I'm going to go ahead and swap like 50 BNB for some um, Bitcoin, uh, and then I'm going to go pull that into a liquidity pool. Or, yeah, add that to a liquidity pool. So I'm going to go um, 50. 50 rune for, I guess that gives me approximately $542 of um, Bitcoin, which is good. There's going to be a, um, a little bit of a slip. Uh, there's, a, there's going to be a rune transaction fee for that. Confirm the swap. This is real funds. So I hope people appreciate this. And this is the first time I've actually done it um, uh, live as well so this is pending so i think we need to wait for this transaction to be pending to be completed we'll just see how long that takes um the process would be to uh, add liquidity and then i will add my um, bitcoin that i have and i will select from here the bitcoin that i have um oh, there it goes updated and max i want all of it um, so therefore I'm going to be click deposit. I'm going to be depositing this much BDC and this much native room. So this is store dot room into this liquidity pool. Right. So this is, this is it. Once this pending transaction completes, it's a little bit of BDC. So it should happen fairly quickly. Then, uh, the pools that I have would be, um, would be shown here. Just have a look at the pending transaction here. So you can see my upgrade my swap here and just waiting on this actual deposit so once i'm waiting on that bdc transaction to go through i'm going to also just do a bit of bnb uh just for the sake of completion so 0.3 b bnb uh deposit that i know that this will likely finish quicker i think because it's a um the, the other pending ones a bitcoin transaction that might take about 10 minutes to do because it wants like a uh, uh one block confirmation but uh, we'll, we'll see. So that's done and you can see, you know, obviously BNB is much quicker at block time. So um, my position in, in BNB is immediately shown, but I still have that one pending um, Bitcoin deposit into the liquidity pool, uh, just outstanding. So I'll probably just keep them and wait for that. So look, whilst, whilst I'm waiting, pros and cons. So adding to multi-chain cast net early, you know, there might be some, might might be some benefits because you're going to have a bigger proportion of the pool because the the pool depth's quite low so you can get some good fees however um obviously you know tomorrow's going to be the first day that this is ever done uh so there could be issues so hence risk so it's up to you so i wouldn't be putting uh migrating all my funds across here on day one uh just give it a couple of you know days or maybe a week watch the chaos unfold watch the stability um build and the confidence build before you uh go aping into this one too hard that said the team are very good so you know i don't them they're probably there's likely to be a couple of issues but i don't think there are going to be any uh any big issues here i'm confident enough to put my uh, a small bit of my funds here to make this video and, and believe that to be uh to be fairly safe fingers crossed <laughs> just looking at the uh transactions so you can see the bnb uh deposit here uh added to liquidity pool here um just still waiting on that bdc transaction but because i've got to edit and get this video out um i will not wait for that any longer so to sum up we've taken some funds out of bet swap here uh and we've sent them to a new wallet that we've created here in asgard x and remember that we've backed up our seed phrase very important uh and then we've uh swapped we'll change this native room swapped um some rune for some bdc and we already had some um, bnb added them to liquidity pools um and then we can see um our positions here just waiting on that one bdc transaction to complete now uh it's going to be the same process um this is asgard x as well as um thor swap and we've got vanaheim x here for more information on the interfaces see my uh youtube video here on how to access multi-chain calcnet this video here was all about um, testnet um, interfaces here. So um, whereas 
what I've just done here is you know live on on production. There's also the um, Asgard uh, desktop, Asgard X desktop, which is available. It's available here under um, a tag. I think they could maybe put out an actual release tomorrow. Um, around this, still got some test net references, but it is looking pretty good. So whatever interface you decide to do, the process is the same. You need to create a new wallet. Uh, make sure you back up your seed phrase. Send funds from wherever you've got them um, over to the interface you want, and then you can go ahead and use that um, to swap or, or add liquidity to liquidity pool um, as you so desire. So uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you got something out of this, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe to see more content like this. And I hope um, the, the launch for Monty Chain Chaos Net goes fantastically well. And um, yeah, till next time. Thanks. Bye.